All right, gamers, welcome to more of Land Cubes. What do we got? And what, what do we want to do? <coughs> Lightning Strike. I really like Midnight Clock, Snapcaster Mage. I heard like red is really good in this format, play mono red aggro, but the problem with that is it's boring as hell and I don't wanna do it. <laughs> I wanna interact, I wanna draw cards, all those things. We could do the sacrifice deck, that's really sweet in this format. And you can also be kinda aggressive there. Just take a free border. I haven't I have played almost no black yet in the format, so let's try that. <coughs> Ronas what takes a sweet, what is that? Draw a card, discard a card if you discard an instant sorcery, you German lose one having in your life. You have the instant sorcery got from this turn. Go back walker. Go play bombardment. I think that screams two black red sacrifice shenanigans. We got sorts of plowshares too though. Black white uh, mid rangey stuff. Alright, let's try the thing. Hopefully the hangerback walker wheels. Put a counter on a creature, it becomes an artifact with non-artifact creatures. That card is sick. There's a reanimator card. Flame tongue yielding. It's pretty good. Hot spring. Destroy all non-artifact creatures. Menace lifelink. Scalding turn. I don't know what to take. Ignoble Hierarch, we could build Chand. Maybe the scriptures, but it doesn't really fit with... Let's try this guy. Oh, Cavalier of Night, a mythic rare. That sounds good. From the graveyard to the battlefield. Shadow Prophecy is nice, 3 mana. Draw two from the top X. I also like the Onithopter quite a bit. Let's try that guy though. Play black for once in my life. I have already met Apprentice. Hive of the Eye Tyrant. Emery. Emery is cool. Oh, also, if I gotta do that sometime too, but I, uh, I think not here. Field of the Dead. We had the perfect field deck the other day, but we didn't have field. Have field. <laughs> Firebolt's awesome. Let's let's try that card. Luna's Path, Put Conscript. That works well with Goblin Bombardment. Dragon Engine. I don't know why else. The Noble Hierarch 2. Sacrifice an artifact. No, you can't on each vampire you control. Do we have any vampires? I mean, it, it just buffs itself too. Might get some vampires later. I wanna try that. That sounds really fun. Cordial Vampire. Looting Steel Hellkite. Dark Depths. Is Vampire Hex Mage in this? Could get the random Depths combo in. If this looting is also kind of neat with like cult, cult conscripts and stuff. Yeah, let's do that. Also with the this card we can reanimate things. We can do some sort of graveyard sacrifice strategy. The anime is pretty cool. I'll take a lightning strike though. Some random burn effect never never hurts. Like we play sort of an aggressive deck with synergies. Better than straight up aggro. Or not better, but I like it more. More interesting to play. Black 
Black Red Land, Delph Card. Powerful Flyer. I mean, that could be good with. Uh, I, I need some mana fixing though. We have triple black symbol, double black symbol. Yeah. Never underestimate some good mana fixing. Okay, we get to play the yearling. Nice. Yeah, you you really need good mana now with all with all those double symbols. Nice card, card. That's nice. Shadow prophecy. That dumps the stuff in the graveyard. That's also pretty good. We need some triomes and to make it better. Okay. Also lith. Probably not also lith thing. People are sleeping on the creature lands. Fires of invention. You can only cast two spells, but you don't have to pay mana. You can never play something on the opponent's turn. I don't know if we want this. Maybe. Oh, there's the blood artist. That's what I want to do. Elder Dragon War is sick. Uh, probably not really with all of these things that die to it. <laughs> Ultimate price. Dude, whenever I pick this card, the opponent plays some colorless threats that I can't deal with. That happened last time I picked it. Just braids too, nice. What is Prosper? Death Touch, M Mystic Arcano? Okay. Yeah, I wanna braids things. There is a route to play mono black. We have some good red stuff, but technically could play mono black aggro too with sacrifice upside. Sadly, we didn't get the hanger back walker that's really good with goblin bombardment and braids. But there's more enablers too. Fane the Broker, sacrifice a creature, okay, lots of sacrifice shenanigans, nice. That's what I wanna do, I think. Need some more stuff that actually generates tokens or is easy to sacrifice. That's the Cutthroat with double blood artist. None of them only counts for our creatures, this also counts when the opponent's creatures die. Alright, let's try to see how good this deck is. In trenches, huh? Beautiful truths cut down by the flames. It's got sweet old Felida retreat. I really love these, but maybe I should just pick. Uh, Gold Hound seems kind of me. Mine, it does like sacrifice itself and we can get bring it back, but eh. maybe a polluted delta. We want to find some um, some trilands to enable this shadow prophecy. Blade of the Oni, ancient stone idol. I don't know. This card seems really hard to cast. You need to have a lot of creatures. This card seems very good. Just generally build an aggressive deck, and then we can kill them with goblin bombardment, blood artists. Combo Grim Discovery Hammer of Purphoros 
Nesting dragon. Yo, that makes dragon eggs. That's pretty cool when, when you can sacrifice them. 2 1 flyer for 2. Create a blood token. And we create a blood token and 5 or more of them transform it. That's also neat. I think I want to try the dragon. I have some really strong 5 drop in the deck too. 5 for flyer when you play land. <coughs> you get a dragon egg. Sick. Okay. We get a 1 1 and it has the blood artist ability. 3 mana 2 1. That can make pest token. Ah, let's try the bastion. Yeah, we want. We have all of the enablers or all of the sacrifice stuff and dying triggers, but also need some things that actually generate creatures, I guess. That's a 4 4 flyer for 4. Can loot. Uh, okay. This can also win us the game if, if we just wipe everything and then whenever a creature dies, the opponent gets. Pinged. 3 damage to creature planeswalker. Backfield hazard. 1 mana 1 for death touch. And step exile the top card. It's just good card advantage. Maybe. Mm, don't really need any of these. Hound came back anyway, but so did Goblin Trenches. Yeah, maybe we splash that, the card is so awesome. Not sure about this stone idol if it's playable. Man, I love animation module. I wanna do a plus one plus one counter deck sometime. I don't, I don't know how supported that is in this. I've not seen too many things. Alright, we got Lightning Bolt, Thoughtsies, and Fatal Push. But also Mayhem Devil. Damn, what a pack. That's stacked. I want, to, I want the Mayhem Devil too much. To like hope something that it wields. Stormkirk Noble. That's my vampire. Another one. Like there's this whole vampire thing. Like red tapped land that polluted delta can fetch. When another creature you control dies, create a treasure token. And let's take the land. We want some fixing and then uh, hopefully wheel one of the other things. Plain swamp forest. Just for domain. I think that's not really. Necessary. We might not even play this. I mean, we do have the Goblin Trenches though. Which we might want to play. Brain Maggot's pretty good. Alright. I do want to play the Trenches. The cut's so, so great. Tazigur, Eternal Taskmaster. Then a creature cut from a graveyard to your hand. That's nice. Grim Lava Man's uh, Island Swamp Mountain. That card seems good. Get some card advantage going. I think this card is probably not castable. Need to attack with, say, five creatures and then flash it in for five. Nothing much here. Currency converter is kind of cool, but not too exciting. Island mountain plains. Red white tap land. Unearth. Sounds okay. Scrap heap scrounger too. The Chris Enum of artifacts and or creatures. And you get a 7 5. Hmm. 
pretty on Earth. God is just good if you want to be aggressive. Eh. Wanna do some more shenanigans too? That's more fun. Ah, there's the ghoul crawler, that's what we needed. Last pack. Bone shards in swamp mountain forest is great. But this card makes a lot of things you can sacrifice. Perfect card for this deck. Alright, this was the pack with the Thought Season, the Fatal Push and the Lightning Bolt. Didn't get any of these, but... okay. Alright, another Vampire, I guess. Fire Blast. Brain Maggot is great. Luckily these vampire things, we have a few, not a lot, like three or four. Nice. It's already 29 spells. Seem okay. Do we play the Dargo? I think we try him. Alright, gotta cut some stuff. I think maybe we. Hmm. But we do have the Triomes. The Prophecy is kinda, kinda great. I think we try to be a bit slower and mid rangey. Also build it way aggr more aggressive, but I like turtle turtle, you know. Sacrifice two creatures and it's a seven five four three. Not sure if we actually need that, but it could be good. Curve. 25, two more cuts. Prosper isn't too exciting. It's it's good and mid rangey, but we do gotta make some cuts. I like the five drops both a lot. The Dragon War is like also. It's it's a good card, you know. <laughs> We do want to play 17 lands for sure. Got a lot of stuff to do with our mana. I 
like that we got so many good spells. We like have way more than we can ever play. Maybe Free Buddha is not great if they only have creatures in hand, and then we can board it in if they have more like spell based deck. That was my first pick, this is kind of funny, now I cut it. We can actually get to five to all five domain, which is kind of cool. Two white sources plus polluted delta, so three. Probably enough to fully cast the trenches sometime. Alright. Nice. That looks pretty fun. Here be. And here we go. We are on the play against Reistlin Magiare for the first round here. Okay, we have 2 1 into a cutthroat, then lightning strike, and an eventual dragon. Let's see what this can do. Now I wish I built the deck in a way that it's actually an aggro deck with this draw, but generally <laughs> I prefer mid-range strategies. You get to play the game more. <laughs> Wind swept thief. Response fetches a tap land. Sure. Maybe I should have just played a 2 1 menace life link instead. To try to aggro the opponent. Already an idol. Yeah, that would have been better the way this played out, but. Green, blue, ramp, I guess. So it's good to push as much damage as possible before they cast big scary stuff. Opponent tapped in the chat. What's that? <laughs> Amazing. Oh man, a threat. Probably not lightning strike able, but we'll see. Oh, it is kind of. That doesn't work. <laughs> I like how I get the notification that it's an illegal block, yeah, I'm aware. If a non-skeleton creature dies, that's kind of funny.
flooded, strained. In this case, I think I'm bringing back my conscript. Dude, it still has menace. Because dragon is better when you play land immediately, I guess. Well, we'll see what they do. Wait, what? Did they just get an island or did they get nothing? I'm confused. I think they got an island. Should I bring this back or should I just play my dragon? Yes, if they have passed with counter magic up, this is better anyway. I guess I should have played Flame Tongue. At least I can kick it later. I think this game is all about killing them before they. I don't know. Stabilize. Opponent says, oh boy, <laughs> in the chat. What does that mean? The armor of the West Tree. Okay. I think I tried to lightning strike that, and if they have like. Oh, they didn't leave a blue man anyway. I was like, maybe they have mana leak or something. But Yilling can also kill it. Cranial plating. Uh, well, now I'm gonna kill that with Flame Tongue Yilling, I think, and keep attacking. Keep my lightning strike to just strike them to death. They have to punk, by the way. We keep my land in hand to make a Landfall later. When it goes to 6, we have a lightning strike, and if our creatures die, they also take 3 damage. playing some sort of affinity deck. That's pretty sweet. I'm just gonna go for the kill. Block this and dead. I have them dead. Or I strike this. Yeah, it's probably better. Opponent says guck. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Lightning strike, two mana, you win the game, let's go. <coughs> Alright, we play against an affinity deck. Do we have that card that kills an artifact? No, didn't take that. On the draw, we could cut some of the expensive cards. I mean, I never did, I did never cast this dragon this time. Maybe play something cheap instead of the dragon. Freebooter are probably not sick, they played mostly creatures. I mean, we could play this to wipe the board when they get scary stuff out. I 
Or rather, as Firebrand try to race them. Or just use it as to block something. Like on the draw, I'm scared of never casting Dragon. Okay. This is a keeper. Opponent down to six cards. Banger. Alright, let's see what's going on, opponent. Look at the cards. Steel Hellkite, that card is scary. Inside too. I guess I can use this to kill the kill the Steel Hellkite. Be too slow, depending if they draw their land. Let's make this bigger so we see opponent's hand better. Alright, I'm not attacking into that. <laughs> Almost got myself. They didn't play the relic, which is interesting. Do they have counter magic? Four mana. Is it Shark Typhoon? What is going on? Oh, they need to make double blue with this for some counter magic card. <laughs> Scatter to the winds. Opponent is a weird affinity slash control deck. Well, now that at least they can't play red. They can't play Hellcats this turn. Which means Cavalier is gonna be coming down in time. Okay, let when they play it. Oh, they actually attack me. Sure. Oh, cranial plating. It's kind of scary, but not the worst thing in the world. Okay. Can load away my mountain and then make a 4 4 next turn. Would probably take a cranial plating hit. Could also just play the Taskmaster if something is sacrificed to this. But I kinda do wanna use the ability later. Yeah, let's load away the mountain and see. Probably get a get hit by a factory plus plating next turn. Oh, there's Chadar. 
That's awesome. That gives us super good targets for sacrificing to Cavalier. Yes, I did. This card should be a desert to look at it. Oh, maybe not. I, I like that the deserts are in this. Or maybe only this one. Don't think I've seen the others. It's cool card though. Right, Skycliff Relic. Pass. Other card and one unknown card. This is really good because now we get our things going before we have to sacrifice something to Cavalier ability. I was gonna attack with the dragon, but it doesn't have haste. This is, this is such a weird artwork, but generally the frame of the card, I don't know. Not in love, is what I'm trying to say. Uh, we do have a legendary creature, so this costs less now. This creature can't block when it attacks, it sacrifices it at the end of combat. Probably, maybe doing that sometime. Alrighty, Ronin did not find the land to cast Hellkite. What do you have? Map. We have quite the board. Academy Ruins. Okay. Once it's done for Drew to garbage. <laughs> well, that sucks. I like the Eternal Taskmaster. Cool card. He has everybody in chains, all the skeletons. Knock on the screen. Giggle with glee. He's a bear who wears a necklace, sort of sweet and sort of reckless, wears a bag and doesn't hide it, keeps a little bird inside it. Banjo Kazooie, Banjo Kazooie. Here's your books to conquer till the spark of him with super pill, the kid has banjo, his duty with the planet's stiller beauty. I want to play Banjo Kazooie. Having a nice chat here with Raised Lin Magia. That's awesome. Well, the deck's working, but the opponent's not putting up too much of a fight this time. Banjo Kazooie. Okay, this is the dragon now on turn 7. I do want to play Banjo Kazooie, but I want to play Banjo Tui even more. Can we kill the opponent next turn? Gangnam Style. Yo, what a good, what a good song. Yeah. 
So when they block my dragon token, they take 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Probably not worth doing, but maybe. Let's just play the Cavalier. Of all the typed in the chat, let's hope this guy will hold me off lol just when, when I cast the Cavalier. <laughs> Perfect timing for that. I have faithless looting, so generally I want to not play out my land. This deck's doing lots of awesome things. Destroying creatures without like two for running the opponent by using the ghoul caller. Wait, that was actually lethal. I thought I'm, I think I miscounted. <laughs> and it says Chichis Yo take care. Really nice person. Whoever you are. I like you. Alright, on to the next match, that was awesome. Okay, match two on the play again versus Lamont. So lucky, and we got a keeper. And I'm style. Mm, I'm gonna just start with the tap land so I can curve out nicely. Save looting for later. I don't know how my hands working out. Ooh, bolt the bird. Always bolt the bird, even though we are striking it. Now we just need some sacrifice fodder. I think the ghoul caller is the best card in this whole deck. Let's broke some stuff. Hopefully. Human Warlock. Basic lane cycling. You got it opponent. You got it. Mao Ain. Do they have better lightning strike? No. Getting chanted. Well, the dragon was nice. I think I'm discarding those basic lanes. Kills the sin response. No, okay, nice. If they wanna kill something, we get to put counters on the other thing. Or we attack. I guess we attack. If we don't attack, we get counters, which might be better, I'm not sure. Depends how this game plays out, really. We might just try to kill them. <laughs> to be TBH. Mursh flats. Oh, it's a four color at least. Felida retreat. Now that is scary. We have a dragon war though. Now do we attack or do we... I guess we just make counters instead. 
I'm not sure. This is kind of tough choices always. Cat beast token. Felida Retreat is so sweet. I'm really friggin' scared of this card. Can a creature card from your graveyard to your hand? Yo, Git Rock Monster. Alright, we gotta just hope to kill them somehow. Dragon War can actually help out there. Heats are not working. We do have them at 5, so we just want them not to gain any life. Does this gain life? Return all land cards from a graveyard to the battlefield. So they have an insane Felida retreat combo. Next turn. I love Neil Cicerega. Let's just call him the cigarette guy. Five life is not much. No, this is. Oh my god, this is so much life gained with. Come me one top. With. Probably the retreat. It's five color landfall. Kind of screws up our win condition. I think we barely don't get this game. Training? What is training? Whenever this creature decks with another creature with greater power, put a plus one plus one count on this creature. I feel like we either kill them here or we we never do it. Like the dragon is probably too slow now, we need to find the... I guess we, if we kill this, we still have a chance. I mean, they're gonna gain 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, plus 6, 7. No, if you crack the lands, you land back like even on life. Maybe a 5-4 is still worth playing out, we get a 4-4 next turn, but they get like an insane cat army, and they have Kami War. Anyway, we, we kill them here, also not really. Oh, 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 oh. Is the dragon any... Good when they make the cat army next turn we get at least to attack them with the dragon. Alright. Yeah. I think we don't get it, but well, I guess we try. So the dragon egg is nothing against like whatever they're gonna make. Attack with this. Can double block and I only kill one thing, so that they, they don't want to lose this. I guess Cat Beast and French Walker is a good block. Or just jump, yeah. Still, better to kill some stuff before they put counter, a lot of counters on everything. Ah, this is amazing! They're going off now. Yes, look at this. I can't even be mad because that's so sweet. I keep making cat beasts. But they get three more.
I mean, this card saved them, I guess. I've had my best successes with the the Kami War deck. It's so good. Life from the Loom too, nice. But streamer, you're you have more than double the opponent's life total. There's no way you're losing this game. now it, it decides to not group these anymore. <laughs> it's kind of funny. them in the year for six. It's actually hella close. Kill my enchantment though. But if they don't, no, well, they can still gain life with the lane drops. And I think I die to the board. Close game, TBH. Don't kill me though, I want to just surrender. Turned King. That card is also really awesome. Okay, that means I do die. GG. Alright, we might wanna play the aggressive deck against 5 color.
Dragon is probably too slow. to the bottom to kill all the cats, but I don't think that's how we win a game. TBH. Let's just try to kill them before they do that, that crazy stuff. But again, I can't even be mad because that's so awesome, doing the Felida retreat thing. We almost got it anyway. I don't want to keep this, but it's so it doesn't do much. Let's mulligan it. Alright, I guess that's better. Good song. Amazing song, actually. Death Right Shaman, while that is not cool. At least it's not off of the land, but they have a lot of them. The Thread Shaman is one of the best cards in this whole format, because there's so many lands around. Alright, for now though, not doing much. Block here. I can fetch a triome and then do the pump ability. When they exile their lands, they can't do the mending as strongly. I could play Felida Retreat again, which is scary as hell. Okay. I'm not too scared of that. But this says. Power less than Rudder's Firebrand, so at least this can block it. Well, not if I pump though. It's good to push damage. Mm. 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 
Do they have fatal push because they tapped like this? Oh, like this attack, I think. Okay. <laughs> Nine? Well, nine is not a lot. Man, I gave them fuel for that fried shaman. This card is so absurd. Very good. Man, it's pretty cool. The like cards like this that are banned in all the formats coming out in the cubes. I love it. Insane mana base, by the way. <laughs> When advocate and land creatures you control get plus two plus two. What do you mean land creatures? Do you mean those that don't swim? <laughs> the ones without flying, maybe? I don't know why, but all the glitters is a weird card to see in this deck. I didn't pump. Uh, you have to do that before I attack. That kinda sucks. Problem is, I got unearthed, but they have Death Ride Shaman. Stupid card. Stupid sexy Death Ride Shaman. Go two three, which is not much. They have they had nothing here. What is in your hand? <laughs> Double blue card. <laughs> Ending. That might not save them this time. Afemia the cacophony. S fat. Oh my god, you so got them right in the bot. Alright, now is my time to unearth. They got They got a uh, Murphy branch walker. Oh nice. I think they die. They really should have blocked Radar's Firebrand last turn. Because it is currently killing them. Oh, I have the wrong... This doesn't count opponent's creatures. So there are two. Ah, I tapped wrong. Damn. I can't unearth. Okay. I kinda messed this up, but it's okay. Opponent's still in trouble. But I wanted to use unearth this turn. Firebrand's a pretty good card. Especially if you have all the domain things. Hopeful initiate, is that the training card again? Yeah. As fast. As fast as ASAP. 
Yeah, we do, we do get it. I made a sketch, some sketchy plays here, but it worked out in the end. Mayhem Devil is gonna be good against the fetch lands. Uh, I think we play it like that again. This is a deck we just have to, where we just have to win the game. We could play this. It is a sacrifice out left and a seven five. Take out the unearth because, like, they do have death right shaman anyway. Uh, they need a quick break, BRB. Opponent is also still in the bathroom, nice. Tap land sadly. One untapped red source would be neat. <laughs> sadly, they do have the bird, and I do not have the bolt. Okay, we don't have untapped red source. It's gonna be rough against a bird of paradise on the play. Especially if they have Felidar retreat. That card is insanely hard to beat. That's one one. Last time I played this, the card was really bad in my deck. All these tap lands are really hurting me right now.
Guess I'm not getting all of my triumphs this time. That's cool though. They just play land Felida Retreat and then a fetch lands up. waiting alrighty looks like no felida retreats to me four cards in hand nice and now there's my mountain which means I get to play two th Spells this turn, so lucky. I feel like I'm playing slow, but I'm still ahead four minutes on the in game clock. play two things even though I don't play my best card. Alright, no board wipes please. No random pyroclasms. Elder Dragon Wars. Okay. Destroys my Taskmaster. Pelt Collector. <laughs> Yeah, it's looking sketchy at best. Got them at ten. The plans are rough, huh? There he is. He's the Puffoby called Kirby in Dreamland. The place Rose is blowing our opponents down this time. He's so cute, he's so cute. But he gets a little burpy because he devours all his friends. He's got an easy problem. More rough stronghold. If I saw Kirby the coming, Kami I'd war. probably say, Quick, shit your pants if you can. Also pee, please. Better stop, poop, and roll, because he won't eat you whole. If you taste like a fresh batch of that can. Seize. Help them stay in the game. Here he comes. Get your fat ass out of nice. town. He would love you to be in his hole. Say your prayers. Because once he wolves you down, he becomes you by stealing your soul. Then he'll go do your girlfriend. He'll inhale and impale you with teeth. No one's easy. He likes purple, so watch how you dress. Oh, Kirby's anti Semitic and hungry as hell. He likes kids who we kosher the best. Boy. Holy shit. Kirby's right outside the door, so go hide in the closet. You are at five. <laughs> this is it. Killing us and then one more, so prepare for a death dark and deep. We're all dead thanks to Kirby. Soon we'll be Kirby doo doo. Five color with the colorless land. I've also done that before. It's not the worst. Hey, steck die Waffe weg. 
Mm, that's a better discard. I need to kill them before this thing does a lot. If they play something with three toughness, this can kill it. We draw like lightning strike. That's pretty neat. Or firebolt. Three cards. What you got? I'm scared. Mom, I'm scared. Junge, steck die scheiß Waffe weg. Urni Fopter. Steck die scheiß Waffe weg. Experiment Drop. one. Well, those are just some blockers to keep you alive. Ich hier keinen Ärger. Also, warum sorgst du nicht dafür, Me dass ich dich hier nicht mehr sehe? Steck die Waffe weg. Steck die scheiß Waffe weg. Steck die Waffe weg. Him devil triggers when this is sacrificed at the end of combat and when this is sacrificed when it resolves. Which means they do have to block. Would be sick if I had that one uh, troll or giant or whatever it is where I get to sacrifice creatures. Maybe the, it's possible the skeleton shouldn't have attacked, but. Do I go face or do I go kill the bird? If I get them 2-1, they can't um, use any fetch lands. That's so awesome. Whenever I play a sacrifice as a permanent, which happens more than you might think. Sagas, fetch lands. Well, off the top of my head, that's it, but <laughs> it does happen a lot. This isn't gonna save them, thankfully. Wait, it does, oh, it doesn't get sacrificed, it does transform. Alright, so they stay at 2. And concede the match, interesting. They're not dead on, on board, are they? Okay, well, we take it. 2-0, go into the finals. <laughs> I feel like they were not confirmed dead there, but okay, on to the finals. Okay, wow, what, on the play again against Jungle Gym, we won the die roll thrice, I think. Uh, no creatures, still a keep. We have two interactive cards and the card draw spell. Actually, this was probably a mistake. Now I don't have black on turn two. I could draw any of my black two drops. Alright, that did not happen. We're not a burn deck. I'm not gonna firebolt the face. No bird that I can bolt, I'm very mad. Alright, we got a broker. Let's do some broke, broke things. Let's broke some things. Probably gonna get bolted or something, no? Let's see what Jungle Chim 13 got for us. I didn't know there were 
12 other jungle gyms. And they had to make one more. Like, why does the world need so many of those? Mo aim. Play something that I can strike. Oh, yes. Tapped 2-2. Two, two. But I can actually just port the land. Awesome. Do they always draw the one that doesn't trigger on the opponent's creatures? I haven't drawn the other one a single time. Firebolt is a really cool card. Even better when you get to kill a land. <laughs> Emergent Sequence is a really cool card, but the one downside is to like rampant growth that the land dies to removal. Uh, if you have a fetch land, it even makes a 3 3 for 2. It's kind of sweet. Flame Tongue Yearling. Okay. Wait, I didn't play my swamp, now I get to look at one. Wow, holy shit. That was actually... <laughs> wow, okay. At least it's lands that do stuff. Uh, we're flooding. But still, if I played swamp, I would have looked at one more card. Renata. That is pretty cool. It is a 4 drop that dies to lightning strike though, which is pretty good for us. Wow. Thankfully all those lands have some cycling ability. Oh my f... Oof. Okay. I'm just gonna channel my land, I guess. Get an actual spell. I'm not feeling good about this because we're not doing anything, giving them so much time. I could trade my Lava Claw Reaches with this instead. Yeah, let's do that. I have so many lands. Is a dragon engine. Holy. I mean, okay. Now we just need some <laughs> some bodies that that can go to the graveyard. They don't have a spell. They do, post combat. Well, I don't think we're beating this. Raincore. I think you actually want to put it on the non-trampling, non-flying creature, but maybe that's just me. Are we straight up dead? 13. I wanna say yes.
but I think if we block with all the things, maybe not quite dead. We're not winning. <laughs> Alright, I'm just gonna take the damage and there's no point in pretending. Those are spells, but too late. Okay, green, red. This might be good. This could be good, but... They have big things that don't die to it too. I think, yeah, maybe the Ruinous Path to kill like a dragon or a Baloth. <laughs> Let's do it this way. Four lands. Not aggressive, but generally playable. Like we didn't really build this as an aggro deck anyway. Exploration. Scary. And we can at least bolt the bird. That's something. Mm -hmm, nice. Let's see if they have some way to get more land drops. Like an excavator in the fetch land. Exploration looks so sick then. Corsa. That is also that. Okay, can't kill the Corsa, sadly. But if I draw a land, I have Cavalier up for it. No modified creatures in sight. I need 6 mana to use Yearling to kill Corsa, which is kinda annoying. Got so good against, like... Oh, no more land drops, though. We got lucky. There's also none on top. I need a land. I can kill the Kodama. I just hope they don't find the land on top, come on. Galvanic Blast, okay. Oh, Galvanic Blast, I guess that's a shock. Still playable. Oh, I kinda wanted to use this. Okay. With Kodama, I can flame tongue it. If they block with Kosa, I just take it to fame. Okay. We might get him this time. Really not finding those Corsa land drops. So lucky for us. Nice. 
That is a good cut. With Galvanic Blast in hand, did we see anything else? Yeah, the Galoth. Right by your head. That was just a prototype. Was a game one might infer about a tropical gender, but they cast Mario instead. Hmm. Oh yes, the concept is full. We call it on. We're set a billion. Oh yes. <laughs> Cause that's what all children wrong for. Yeah. Up nice. <laughs> one game away, but so opponent did get mana screwed rather heavily this time. A big on the draw. We want Targo. This game is tedious. They tried to make Mario new. new. Yeah, some parts are fun. But it's not my number one. Sure, some games seem yeah. like pure gold. If you play them when you're four years old, the voice of Bowser sounds okay. rather Another four lander. like Cookie Monster. But it's a fine brother. one. Hey guys, it's it's Brain Maggot. Once again, we have Pseudopod Cutthroat, which is okay, but the other card is so much better. Ooh. Speaking of... Alright, now we just need good callers and, and those types of cards. Mao Ain. Two mana, immersion sequence, okay, hanger back walker. That's kinda annoying. Oh, there's two removal spells. Can't cast Yelling though. So we gotta like take the lightning strike. This is a sketchy hand kind of mana wise. If they draw mountain, it gets really good. But we're also not doing too much for now. We could set up some crazy stuff. Sadly, this isn't an instant, so otherwise I could kill this in response to adding a counter. Roaring Earth. When a land enters, put a counter on a creature or vehicle. But they played the land first. Now we just hope they don't find their lens, I guess. Not the best plan in the world. Oh shit, I forgot I had Blood Artist. And now I also made a sequencing error. This triggers on the opponent's creatures, which wasn't relevant until now. If they find the red source, or oh, like our House of Cards collapses, which is annoying. I like how many lands we have that do stuff. Ooh, that's that's the red source. I can't kill it for now. Which is annoying. They get flame tongue, my brain maggot. Next turn. Oh. Flooding out again. Really annoying. I 
can target yourself with this. It's kind of funny. <laughs> Are you not playing your advocate? Okay. That was a good draw. Roaring Earth is pretty pretty sweet though. Seems like they don't have the land drop though. Well, here's me hoping they only have six drops in hand and we kill them before they play them, but that seems a bit unlikely. Land, Coop Slap, Pog, Pog Champ, Pog, Pog, Land, Coop Slap, Muzzle, W, F, Smash, Face, Pog. Oh my god, he always knows what to say. <laughs> What's up, Masley on Twitch? Ember Cleave! Oh my god! That is scary. Hope hopefully, they do it on. Okay. Uh, I can't prevent that from hitting me hard. I think we're losing. Feng Tang yelling. So you're saying there is a chance? This costs three mana to equip. Hey. We do gain some life. Well, they could have blocked, but they were scared. Never underestimate opponent getting scared. Alright, where's my Goblin Bombardment? I haven't seen this card the whole draft. It's in the deck, right? Yes, there it is. Come on. If not in the last game of the last match, when would I top deck Goblin Bombardment? Right? Lightning is the right tool. That's annoying. Felt collect tool. But no land drop, that's good for us. Faithless looting, that doesn't really do anything. Kill a land, most likely. For the advocate. Uh, let's try about this thing. Oh, 
Where's the ghoul from? Scary. Shit's getting close. Double strike flying trample. Double flamble. The broker. Is it already nine? I can't really threaten lethal, can I? Blocks this, but if they have a land drop, it becomes a 4 4 double strike. And I'd still have to play it because if that becomes a 4 4, it's sort of dead otherwise. I do want to use Deadlands, kill something, but I'll just put two counters on this. Set my blood artist instead. Right. So if they draw a land, I'm dead. I'll, except if I use the deadlands on the Thopter. Well, I can also play the dragon. I really w would have liked to kill the land, but that's just not a thing I can do. I think I have to hope they don't draw land. What a close and tight game, I really like it. Yeah, no land, please. Uh -huh. Land, shit. I have to jump block that and they can play a dragon engine. Ah. Come on, goblin bombardment for the win. Oh wait, they have the wolf run, so I'm dead either way, okay. Yeah, I couldn't have prevented that. Then it was probably like land drop, you win. Uh, no land drop, I win. Can I see my top card? No, the game's gone. Good match. Closely no trophy, but like almost. Ah, that was cool. The sacrifice deck is real. Like it is. Maybe it's better to build it more aggressively, but I like it a bit more this way. The dragon was a bit slow. Should probably have played like Targo or. Pit fighter or something instead. Alright, we do another though. See you in that one.